Chapter 1. The Gateway to Personal Freedom Welcome to the journey of discovering the law of contentment. This chapter serves as your gateway to understanding how to harness your innate power to create happiness and fulfillment in your life. In a world that constantly bombards us with messages of what we should do, who we should be, and what we should have, it's easy to lose sight of what truly makes us happy. The law of contentment is not about acquiring things or meeting societal expectations. It's about rediscovering yourself and doing what brings you joy without the need for external validation. Understanding Contentment Contentment is a state of happiness and satisfaction. It's finding joy in the moment and in the simple things. It's the warm sunlight on your skin, the taste of your favorite food, or the laughter of a loved one. It's also the satisfaction of pursuing your passions and realizing your personal goals. But contentment is not a destination. It's a way of traveling through life. The Power of Self-Awareness The first step to living the law of contentment is developing self-awareness. This involves understanding your true desires, motivations, and what genuinely makes you happy. It's about looking inward and asking yourself hard questions. What are my passions? What activities make me lose track of time? When do I feel most alive? Self-awareness requires honesty and courage. It might mean acknowledging that your current path doesn't align with your true desires. It's also recognizing the external pressures that shape your choices and learning to differentiate between what you want and what others expect of you. Cultivating happiness from within happiness that lasts is cultivated from within. It's not dependent on external circumstances or the approval of others. This chapter encourages you to find activities that bring you joy, regardless of societal norms or expectations. It could be as simple as reading, gardening, painting, or anything that resonates with you personally. The key is to do these activities for yourself, not for likes on social media or to impress others. The law of contentment teaches us that our worth is not tied to external validation. Your happiness is valid even if it's not broadcasted or recognized by others. Embracing Solitude In the quest for contentment, solitude can be a powerful tool. It allows us to disconnect from the noise of the world and reconnect with ourselves. Solitude is not loneliness. It's a choice to spend time alone to reflect, recharge, and engage in activities that we enjoy without distraction. This chapter highlights the importance of embracing solitude to deepen self-awareness and cultivate internal happiness. It's in these moments of quiet that we can truly listen to our hearts and understand what brings us peace and contentment. The Art of Letting Go A significant barrier to contentment is the burden of expectations, both our own and those of others. The Law of Contentment teaches the art of letting go of these expectations. This doesn't mean lowering your standards or giving up on your dreams. It means understanding that true happiness is not contingent on achieving specific outcomes or pleasing others. Letting go allows us to live more freely and authentically. It opens us up to new possibilities and helps us appreciate the journey, not just the destination. Chapter 2. Reclaiming Your Time. The First Step to Contentment. In the pursuit of contentment, time is your most valuable resource. How you choose to spend your time can significantly influence your level of happiness and satisfaction in life. This chapter delves into the importance of reclaiming your time and making deliberate choices about how you use it. By prioritizing activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, you can embark on a more contented life journey. The Illusion of Being Busy In today's fast-paced world, being busy is often worn as a badge of honor. However, constant busyness can lead to burnout, stress, and a disconnect from what truly makes us happy. The first step to reclaiming your time is to challenge the notion that being constantly busy is synonymous with being successful or fulfilled. Reflect on how you currently spend your time, how much of it is devoted to activities that genuinely bring you joy versus obligations or tasks that drain your energy. Recognizing the difference is crucial in reclaiming your time. Prioritizing what matters. Once you've identified the activities that contribute to your happiness, the next step is to prioritize them. This may require making tough decisions and learning to say no to things that don't align with your values or add to your contentment. 
Begin by making a list of activities that make you feel alive and fulfilled. These could range from spending time with loved ones, engaging in a hobby, or simply taking time for self-reflection. Consider how you can incorporate these activities into your daily or weekly schedule. Setting boundaries. Setting boundaries is essential in the process of reclaiming your time. This involves communicating your needs and limits to others, whether it's family, friends, or colleagues. Setting boundaries can help prevent others' expectations from infringing on your time and allow you to devote more energy to what truly matters to you. Remember, setting boundaries is not an act of selfishness. It's an act of self-care. It demonstrates a respect for your own time and well-being, which is critical for contentment. The Role of Minimalism Minimalism, in the context of time management, is about simplifying your schedule and commitments to focus on what's truly important. This doesn't necessarily mean doing less, but rather, doing what's meaningful. By adopting a minimalist approach to your time, you can reduce stress and increase your satisfaction with how you spend each day. Reflect on your current commitments and ask yourself if each one adds value to your life. If not, consider letting it go. This process of decluttering your schedule can make room for more enriching and fulfilling activities. Mindfulness and Present Moment Awareness Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, without judgment. Applying mindfulness to how you spend your time can enhance your contentment by allowing you to fully engage and appreciate the activities you've chosen to prioritize. Try incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine, such as meditation, deep breathing, or simply being fully present during a meal or walk. These practices can help ground you in the present moment and make your experiences more meaningful and satisfying. Chapter 3. The Power of Gratitude in Cultivating Contentment Gratitude, the simple act of recognizing and appreciating what we have, is a powerful tool for transforming our outlook on life and deepening our sense of contentment. It shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance that already exists in our lives. This chapter explores how cultivating a habit of gratitude can significantly enhance your journey towards finding true happiness and satisfaction. Understanding Gratitude Gratitude goes beyond mere acknowledgement. It's an emotional response to the recognition of the good in our lives, regardless of how small or mundane it might seem. This practice can turn ordinary moments into sources of joy, transforming our overall experience of life. The benefits of gratitude research has shown that gratitude can have profound effects on our mental and physical well-being. It can increase happiness, reduce depression, improve sleep, and even enhance our relationships. By focusing on what we are thankful for, we create a positive feedback loop that enhances our overall sense of well-being and contentment. Starting with small steps. Cultivating gratitude begins with noticing the small pleasures of daily life. It could be as simple as the warmth of sunlight, a delicious meal, or a kind gesture from a stranger. Acknowledging these moments can help build a foundation of gratitude on which to grow. Keeping a Gratitude Journal One effective way to cultivate gratitude is by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day write down three things you are thankful for. These don't have to be grandiose. Even the simplest aspects of your day can be profound. Over time, this practice can shift your mindset to one that more readily recognizes and appreciates the good in your life. Gratitude in Challenging Times It's relatively easy to feel grateful during good times, but the true power of gratitude is revealed during challenging periods. Facing difficulties with a grateful heart can change how we perceive our circumstances, helping us to find light even in the darkest moments. It's about finding something to be thankful for amid adversity. Gratitude and Relationships Gratitude can also transform our relationships. Expressing appreciation for the people in our lives strengthens our connections and fosters a positive environment. Simple acts of thanks can make a significant difference in how we interact with others, enhancing our communal sense of joy and belonging. Practicing Mindful Gratitude Mindful gratitude involves being fully present in the moment and deeply feeling the gratitude you express. It's not just a mental exercise, it's an emotional and spiritual one. By practicing mindful gratitude, we deepen our connection to the present moment and the joy it can bring. Chapter 4. Building Meaningful Connections. The Social Dimension of Contentment. 
Contentment is often viewed as an internal state, a serene acceptance and appreciation for what is. However, our connections with others play a crucial role in shaping our happiness and overall sense of fulfillment. This chapter delves into the importance of building meaningful relationships and nurturing a sense of community as pivotal elements of living a contented life. The Importance of Connection Humans are inherently social beings. Our need for connection is as fundamental as our need for food and shelter. Positive, meaningful relationships contribute significantly to our emotional well-being and sense of contentment. They offer support, love, and a sense of belonging, which are essential for our mental health. Cultivating Deep Relationships In an age where digital connections often overshadow face-to-face -face interactions, it's crucial to remember the value of deep, meaningful relationships. Cultivating such connections requires time, effort, and vulnerability. It's about more than just sharing space or casual conversations. It's about sharing experiences, thoughts, and feelings authentically. Listening with Empathy One of the foundations of meaningful relationships is the ability to listen empathetically. Listening goes beyond hearing words. It's about understanding the emotions and intentions behind those words. Empathetic listening can strengthen relationships, fostering a deeper connection and mutual respect. The Power of Vulnerability Vulnerability is often seen as a weakness, but in the context of building connections, it's a strength. Allowing yourself to be vulnerable opens the door to genuine relationships. It's about being honest with your feelings and experiences, which invites others to do the same, creating a deeper bond. Investing Time in Relationships Like any worthwhile endeavor, nurturing relationships requires investment, specifically, an investment of time. Setting aside dedicated time for those important to you, whether it's through shared activities, regular check-ins, or simply being present, is crucial for maintaining and deepening connections. The Role of Community Beyond individual relationships, being part of a community can greatly enhance our sense of belonging and contentment. Communities, whether based on shared interests, beliefs, or geographical locations, provide a sense of identity and support. Engaging in community activities can enrich our lives, offering opportunities for connection and contribution. Balancing Solitude and Socialization While building and maintaining relationships is crucial, it's also important to balance socialization with solitude. Solitude allows for self-reflection and personal growth, which are essential components of contentment. Finding the right balance between connecting with others and reconnecting with oneself is key to a fulfilling life. Chapter 5. Overcoming Obstacles to Contentment The journey to contentment is rarely smooth and often dotted with challenges that can test our resolve and patience. While obstacles are an inevitable part of life, our response to them determines their impact on our happiness and fulfillment. This chapter focuses on identifying common barriers to contentment and strategies for overcoming them paving the way for a more serene and satisfying life. Identifying Common Obstacles The first step in overcoming obstacles is to recognize what they are. Common barriers to contentment include stress, fear, comparison, and the pursuit of perfection. These factors can cloud our judgment, lead us away from our values, and diminish our sense of satisfaction. Stress and how to manage it. Stress, while a natural response to challenges, can become a significant obstacle if not managed properly. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, physical activity, and deep breathing exercises can be effective tools for reducing stress levels. Additionally, setting realistic goals and breaking them into manageable tasks can prevent feelings of overwhelm. Facing fears. Fear is a powerful emotion that can hinder our ability to pursue what truly makes us happy. Whether it's fear of failure, rejection, or the unknown, confronting these fears is crucial. Acknowledge your fears, but don't let them control your actions. Remember, growth often happens outside our comfort zones. The Trap of Comparison In a world amplified by social media, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others. 
This comparison can be detrimental to our contentment, as it shifts our focus from our journey to someone else's. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude for your unique path and achievements, and remember that everyone's journey is different. Letting go of perfectionism. The pursuit of perfection is an endless and unattainable goal that can rob us of joy and satisfaction. Embrace imperfection as a part of being human and a source of growth, setting realistic expectations and celebrating progress rather than perfection can lead to greater contentment. Building resilience resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks, is key to overcoming obstacles. Cultivate resilience by maintaining a positive outlook, seeking support from loved ones, and viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. Remember, resilience is not about avoiding difficulties, but learning to navigate them effectively. The Importance of Self-Compassion Be kind to yourself during challenging times. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a friend. Recognize that setbacks are part of the human experience and do not define your worth or ability to achieve contentment. Moving forward with flexibility. Adaptability and flexibility are important qualities when facing obstacles. Being open to change and willing to adjust your course as needed can make navigating challenges less daunting. Embrace the journey with an open heart and mind, ready to learn and grow from every experience. Chapter 6. Purposeful Goals. Aligning Aspirations with Contentment. Achieving contentment doesn't mean foregoing ambitions or ceasing to set goals. On the contrary, setting purposeful goals that resonate with our deepest values and aspirations is essential for a fulfilling life. This chapter explores how to align your goals with the principles of contentment, ensuring that your pursuits enhance rather than detract from your happiness. Understanding Purposeful Goals Purposeful goals are those that are deeply connected to your personal values and contribute to your overall sense of meaning and satisfaction in life. They go beyond superficial achievements or societal expectations, touching the core of what truly matters to you. The difference between external and internal goals. External goals, while often rewarding, are primarily focused on outcomes that are visible to others, such as wealth, status, or physical appearance. Internal goals, however, are centered on personal growth, relationships, and inner well-being. While both types of goals can contribute to contentment, internal goals often have a more lasting impact on our happiness. Setting Goals with Intention Begin by reflecting on your values and what you find meaningful. Ask yourself, what brings me joy? What am I passionate about? How do I want to grow as a person? Setting goals with intention means ensuring that your goals are in harmony with your answers to these questions. The Role of Mindfulness in Goal Setting Mindfulness can be a powerful tool in the goal-setting process. It encourages us to set goals with full awareness and intention, focusing on the present and our current priorities. Mindful goal-setting involves being open to adjusting our goals as we evolve and our circumstances change. Breaking down goals into actionable steps. Large, ambitious goals can be overwhelming and may lead to inaction or procrastination. Breaking down your goals into smaller, manageable steps can make them more achievable and less daunting. Celebrate each small victory along the way, as these successes contribute to your overall sense of contentment. Embracing Flexibility and Adaptability Life is unpredictable, and circumstances can change, impacting our ability to achieve certain goals. Embracing flexibility means being willing to adapt your goals as needed. This adaptability allows you to remain aligned with your values and aspirations, even when external conditions shift. The Importance of Persistence While flexibility is crucial, so is persistence. Some goals, especially those most aligned with our deepest values, require time and sustained effort to achieve. Persistence is the commitment to continue striving towards your goals, even in the face of challenges and setbacks. Chapter 7 the Art of Letting Go, Embracing Acceptance for a Contented Life One of the most profound lessons on the path to contentment is learning the art of letting go. This chapter delves into the importance of acceptance and the ability to release control over the things we cannot change. 
Embracing this principle can lead to a deeper sense of peace and satisfaction, paving the way for a life filled with joy and serenity. Understanding what it means to let go. Letting go involves releasing our tight grip on expectations, outcomes, and the illusion of control. It's about acknowledging the impermanence of life and the fact that many external circumstances are beyond our control. By letting go, we open ourselves to the flow of life, making room for new experiences and opportunities. The difference between letting go and giving up. It's crucial to distinguish between letting go and giving up. Letting go is a conscious choice to accept things as they are, recognizing our limits in changing certain situations. It's an act of wisdom and strength. Giving up, on the other hand, is resigning ourselves to circumstances out of a sense of defeat or despair. Letting go empowers us. Giving up diminishes our spirit. Acceptance as a pathway to peace. Acceptance is the cornerstone of letting go. It involves embracing life's experiences without judgment or resistance. Acceptance doesn't mean we have to like every aspect of our reality, but it allows us to face it with grace and equanimity. Through acceptance, we find peace in the present moment, regardless of its imperfections. The Role of Mindfulness in Letting Go Mindfulness practice can greatly facilitate the process of letting go. By bringing our attention to the present moment, we can observe our thoughts and feelings without attachment. This awareness creates a space between our experiences and our reactions, giving us the choice to let go of the need to control or change what is. Letting go of the past and future worries. Holding on to past regrets or future anxieties can be significant barriers to contentment. Letting go of these burdens involves a conscious decision to focus on the present, where life actually happens. It means forgiving ourselves for past mistakes and acknowledging that the future is not ours to see or control. The freedom found in letting go. The act of letting go is liberating. It frees us from the weight of unmet expectations and the stress of trying to control the uncontrollable. In this freedom, we find a deeper appreciation for life as it is, discovering joy and contentment in the simplicity of being. Practicing Letting Go in Daily Life Incorporate the practice of letting go into your daily life by identifying areas where you're holding on too tightly. Whether it's a relationship, a career aspiration, or an idea of how things should be, examine your attachment and consider what it might feel like to release your grip. Use mindfulness to observe your feelings about letting go and gently guide yourself toward acceptance. Chapter 8. Finding Joy in the Journey. The Path to Lasting Contentment. The pursuit of contentment is often misconceived as a destination, a final state of happiness to be achieved. However, true contentment lies not in reaching a specific endpoint, but in finding joy in the journey itself. This chapter explores how to embrace each moment and experience life's journey with a sense of wonder and appreciation, cultivating a deeper, more enduring form of contentment. Embracing the present moment. The present moment is where life unfolds, yet all too often, our minds are elsewhere, caught up in past regrets or future anxieties. Learning to embrace the present involves consciously directing our attention to now, noticing the beauty, sensations, and experiences available to us at this very moment. The Power of Presence Being fully present amplifies the quality of our experiences. It enhances our engagement with activities, deepens our relationships, and allows us to appreciate the simple pleasures of life. Presence can transform mundane tasks into moments of joy and turn routine encounters into meaningful connections. Cultivating a sense of wonder A sense of wonder involves seeing the world with fresh eyes, remaining open to the marvels and mysteries that surround us. It's about appreciating the miracle of existence, from the intricate design of a leaf to the vastness of the night sky. Cultivating wonder can significantly enrich our journey, making everyday moments sources of joy and inspiration. Gratitude as a Companion Gratitude and joy are deeply intertwined. By practicing gratitude, we naturally find more joy in our journey. Make it a habit to acknowledge and appreciate the good in your life, no matter how small. This practice can shift your perspective, highlighting the abundance that exists even in challenging times. Learning from Challenges 
Every journey includes its share of obstacles and challenges. Rather than viewing these as detours from happiness, recognize them as integral parts of the journey. Challenges offer opportunities for growth, self-discovery, and resilience building. Approaching difficulties with a positive mindset can reveal hidden blessings and lessons. Celebrating progress, not perfection. The pursuit of contentment is a process of continuous growth and evolution. Celebrate your progress along the way, recognizing the steps you've taken and the obstacles you've overcome. Let go of the need for perfection and instead honor the effort and intention behind your actions. Sharing your journey. Sharing your journey with others can amplify your joy. Connect with people who support and inspire you and be open to sharing your experiences, insights, and challenges. These shared moments of connection can deepen your sense of contentment and provide encouragement during difficult times. Chapter 9. Integrating Contentment into Your Lifestyle A Holistic Approach Contentment is not merely a state of mind, but a way of living. It requires integration into every aspect of your lifestyle, from your daily routines to your long-term goals and relationships. This chapter provides a holistic approach to fostering contentment, offering strategies to weave the principles we've discussed into the fabric of your life, creating a cohesive and fulfilling existence. Creating contentment-enhancing habits. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. By establishing routines that enhance contentment, such as daily gratitude practice, mindfulness meditation, or engaging in activities that bring joy, we can create a strong foundation for a contented life. Identify habits that support your well-being and make them a non-negotiable part of your day. Cultivating a supportive environment. Our environment significantly influences our mood and mindset. Create spaces that inspire peace, joy, and relaxation. Whether it's a serene corner for reading, a clutter-free workspace, or a nature-filled area for reflection. Surround yourself with items that uplift you and remove those that contribute to stress or negativity. Nurturing relationships that enrich relationships are crucial to our sense of contentment. Invest time and energy in nurturing connections that support, inspire, and uplift you. Be intentional about the company you keep, seeking out those who embody the qualities of empathy, kindness, and positivity. Remember, contentment can be contagious. Surround yourself with those who reflect and enhance your own. Aligning work with purpose. For many, a significant portion of life is spent working. Aligning your professional endeavors with your values and passions can greatly enhance your sense of contentment. If your current work does not align, consider paths that might be more fulfilling, whether it means shifting roles, pursuing a passion project, or redefining success on your own terms. Embracing simplicity. Simplicity can be a powerful ally in the pursuit of contentment. By focusing on what truly matters and letting go of excess, whether in terms of possessions, commitments, or expectations, we can find greater clarity and peace. Embrace simplicity as a means to focus on your core values and the essentials that bring you joy. Maintaining physical and mental well-being. Our physical health is deeply interconnected with our mental and emotional state. Regular exercise, a nutritious diet, and sufficient rest are foundational to contentment. Additionally, seeking help when dealing with mental health challenges is a strength, not a weakness. Prioritize your well-being by adopting healthy lifestyle choices and seeking support when needed. Lifelong Learning and Growth A mindset of growth and curiosity can enhance our contentment by providing a sense of progress and discovery. Embrace opportunities for learning and self-improvement, whether through reading, courses, travel, or new experiences. Lifelong learning can keep the journey towards contentment vibrant and exciting. Chapter 10. Embracing Contentment. A Journey of Transformation. As we arrive at the conclusion of our journey through the law of contentment, it's important to reflect on the essence of what we've explored and consider how to carry these insights forward. Contentment is not a static state to be achieved. It is a dynamic and ongoing process of growth discovery and transformation. This final chapter is dedicated to reinforcing the principles that guide us towards a contented life and ensuring that the path we walk is one of continuous evolution and fulfillment. 
Contentment as a state of being. Contentment is a way of being, a lens through which we view the world and our place within it. It's about finding harmony in the present, regardless of our circumstances, and fostering an inner peace that is not easily swayed by external pressures or fleeting emotions. Cultivating this state of being requires mindfulness, gratitude, and a deep connection with oneself. The Continuous Nature of the Journey The journey towards contentment is perpetual, with no final destination. Each day offers new opportunities for growth, learning, and appreciation. Embrace the fluidity of this journey, recognizing that change is constant and that adaptability is a strength. The path to contentment is as much about the steps we take as it is about our ability to navigate the twists and turns with grace and resilience. Staying true to your path. In a world filled with noise and distraction, staying true to your path can be challenging. It requires a strong sense of self, clear values, and a commitment to your well-being. Regularly revisit your goals and aspirations to ensure they align with your definition of contentment. Remember, your path is unique. Honor it with conviction and courage. The Role of Community and Connection While the journey is personal, the role of community and connection cannot be overstated. Sharing experiences, challenges, and successes with others can enrich our lives, providing support and perspective. Cultivate relationships that nurture your spirit, and don't hesitate to reach out for support or offer it to those in need. Embracing change and letting go. Change is an integral part of life and the journey towards contentment. Learning to embrace change, let go of what no longer serves us, and welcome new experiences with an open heart is crucial. This flexibility not only aids in our growth, but also helps us maintain a sense of contentment through life's inevitable ups and downs. The Power of Reflection Regular reflection is vital for maintaining a contented life. Take time to contemplate your experiences, the lessons learned, and the growth achieved. Reflection fosters a deeper understanding of ourselves and our journey, helping us to appreciate our progress and adjust our course as needed. Carrying the Principles Forward As we conclude this book, consider how you can integrate the principles of contentment into your daily life. Whether through small daily practices or significant life changes, every action taken with intention brings you closer to a state of contentment. Keep these teachings close to your heart and revisit them as often as needed to guide your path. Conclusion A Lifelong Transformation Embracing contentment is a lifelong transformation that enriches every aspect of our being. It's a journey marked by self-discovery, growth, and a deepening sense of peace and fulfillment. As you continue on your path, remember that contentment is not just a destination, but a way of traveling through life. With each step, you are creating a life that is not only meaningful and satisfying, but also a beautiful reflection of your true self. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the law of contentment. May the path ahead be filled with joy, growth, and an ever-deepening sense of fulfillment.